Hey everybody, it's Gabe from Thinking Outside the Long Box, www.totlb.com, representing Colorado comic book enthusiasts. It might be backwards. I don't know if my phone makes it so that that flips backwards. Anyways, so, uh, quick review. Miracle Man, read the first uh, volume, which is issues one through four. Um, I get it. I get why people like it. It's an enjoyable book. I like the deconstruction of the superhero thing. Uh, I like the, you know, flip the code switch basically of, you know, Miracle Man is a spoiler alert. All of his memories are fake and that's why he thinks he's the way he is, but he doesn't understand all that stuff. But the reality is that it makes Alan Moore feel a touch like a one trick pony because all of his, hi Ashton, all of his big three... <laughs> There he goes. He's cleaning up the living room. All three of his big, like, comic book coups besides, you know, the three coups. So Watchmen, Swamp Thing, Miracle Man, a.k.a. Marvel Man, are all about code switching, doing this change on the, you know, dynamic of a very specific character. So he changed Swamp Thing from a person that had turned into Swamp Thing into, like, this weird, like, you know metaphysical creature and he changes miracle man's past into like false memories and then watchmen it's like this deconstruction of like the superhero team sort of thing so i get it it's enjoyable i love it but once you've read alan moore do that for two comic book series the third one is like yeah this is cool but it's not anything at the time it was new reading it now for the first time for me because I didn't pick it up when it was in Warrior and A1 and stuff like that. R reading it for the first time when I've already read these other things just makes it seem like, oh, yeah, what Alan Moore does. So it was good. I enjoyed it. Don't get that wrong. It's just that for me, it was kind of a, yeah, that was a thing as opposed to, wow, this is amazing. Um, I do like the... Um, Oh, shit, and I'm going to forget what they're called. Uh, I do like the the race that are kind of like the Watchers and go back and forth in time. Those backup stories were really cool. I, I thought that was really interesting. Um, yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. I was going to talk about Chewbacca Lady for a little bit. Uh, apparently, she's made several hundred thousand dollars uh, you know, off of her video, and people are like, oh, she didn't do that because you know, she's just a lady. Hey, if I start making money for doing these videos and doing my stupid podcast, which isn't stupid, is awesome, but, you know, Juan, John, and I, we're just dudes that are trying to have a good time and trying to entertain people just like she was, and sure, it might be an accident, and sure, it might be a fluke, but it's not any different than any other entertainer or athlete that just happens to have made people laugh or enjoy something entertaining a little bit better than the last person, um... Uh, She's made millions and millions of people laugh, and she's made a few hundred thousand dollars off of it, which is not set for life, as I've seen somebody say. Just take it into perspective that actors and actresses, they make money for going on film and making you laugh, making you cry, making you be entertained. Athletes, all they do is go on TV and perform entertainment. Like, I get that it's a lot of hard work, and I get that maybe she stumbled into it, but if someday my podcast starts making money because we're having a blast, if somebody poo-poos on that, tough shit. Like, she made millions of people laugh and deserves every penny that she gets. And if you don't like that she's charging to sign autographs, don't get an autograph from her. Because people are getting her to sign autographs because they want them. And if they didn't want them, they wouldn't pay money for them. That's how that works. So... Stop shitting on somebody for just making good for having fun. Because that shit happens, and I hope it happens to me someday. But, yeah. Because I'm sure you wouldn't be pissed off if you were making thousands of dollars just for being an ass on YouTube. Just saying, if someone wants to throw me money, you can do that at www.patreon.com slash TOTLB. And you can support the podcast or the YouTube videos or anything like that. Uh, I think I'm going to come back at you guys uh, later this weekend with a video about uh, the discipline and insects and a couple of the, I guess, ideas that I've had on the two based on the ridership. So with that said, I'm Gabe. This has been a quick review. 
From Thinking Outside the Long Box, please visit us at www.totlb.com to find all of the myriad ways that you can interact with us on social media, including Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Blah, blah, blah. I hope you guys have a good day.